Welcome back! In this tutorial, we'll focus on two key areas of the Camtasia editor, the canvas and the properties panel. Let's start with the canvas. The canvas is where you design your video. This is where you position, resize, and rotate media. This is also where you adjust the look and feel of callouts and change their text. As you work with the canvas, use the snap lines to help you align content to the canvas or to other media. And to get a better look at your work, use the zoom dropdown to zoom in and see more detail, and pan mode to move the canvas without making changes to your project. When finished, switch back to edit mode, then zoom out to see the canvas in full. As you build your project, keep in mind that everything visible on the canvas is produced in the final video. If parts of a recording or other media pass over the edge of the canvas, Camtasia grays them out to indicate they won't appear in the final video. Sometimes, this is exactly what you're looking for. For example, drag a handle on a screen recording to make it bigger, then position the recording to show only what you want. When you produce your video, all the content outside of the canvas's gray border won't be visible in the final video. When working with the canvas, if you make a recording or add media that doesn't fill the canvas, black bars will appear in the final video. One way to fix this is to increase the size of the screen recording to fill the entire canvas. Then, position the recording to show the most important part. As you build your project, add annotations, callouts, and other media by clicking and dragging directly to the canvas. And to modify text, double click an annotation and type on your keyboard. To adjust the style or fine tune media on the canvas, use the Properties panel. This panel displays the properties for the selected media and organizes them into tabs. The first tab is an object's visual properties. This includes an object's scale, opacity, rotation, and position on the canvas. The following tabs change depending on the type of media selected. In this example, an annotation is selected, so the second tab displays the annotation's text properties, where you change the font type, size, color, and more. The third tab displays options for the style of the annotation such as its fill color and outline properties. If a screen recording is selected, the visual tab is still displayed along with two new tabs. The first is the audio tab, where you control the loudness of a clip, which is also called gain. The second is the cursor tab, where you control the size and opacity of the cursor. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to check out our other tutorials, and thanks for watching.